Girard takes this to the gospel text. Here's his argument. Is that what the gospel texts reveal is the absolute arbitrariness of the scapegoat mechanism. Look at, look at the ways in which they're trying to put Christ up for a trial. Is he really guilty? Pontius Pilate, you know, he's like, I don't see anything that he's done. He sends him off, right? He sends him off to Herod. And Herod's like, I want nothing to do. And it actually tells us that Herod and Pontius Pilate became friends with one another after this. And then, of course, what do we see? We see him up on the cross. And do you remember the words of, of, of Christ whenever he's up there? It's, it's absolutely stunning, I think. He says, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. In Girardi, in terms, what he's saying is they're participating in the scapegoat mechanism and they have no idea what they're doing. And then remember the one uh, in, in Matthew and Luke, we get, we get two different responses from the soldier. One says, truly, this was, uh, this was the son of God. The second one says, truly, this man was innocent. Oh, my God. Like, you can't do that with the scapegoat mechanism. Under no circumstances can you go back and tell the mob, hey, guess what? He was actually innocent. We were being completely arbitrary. If you do that, you've destroyed everything. And that's Gerard's ultimate argument as to what the gospel text does, is that it unmasks the scapegoat mechanism that, that all of culture builds itself around, that Christ unmasks the lie of this unanimous violence on one single person or group to just say, this is how you bound yourself together through violence. And guess what? The scapegoat mechanism is only going to be temporary because guess what? You're going to have more problems. You think you're ever going to live in a community in a culture that doesn't have its problems? You're lying to yourself. Girard's argument is we always need those, well, he's not making this argument, he's pointing out, we always need those scapegoats to kind of cohere. And he says in Christianity, and he was a devout Christian, a very faithful Catholic. And he says, what Christ does in the revelation of the scapegoat mechanism is he's rendered it uh, useless because now we all know the lie. 